Well, I came to this world uh, born in Zacatecas, Mexico. My father used to tell me that I was born on the side of the road in a tent. I never really believed him when I was a little girl. I was a mother of three when I was sitting in my kitchen in Chicago that I looked at my birth certificate very closely and I saw that I was from Zacatecas, that I was registered in Zacatecas, Zacatecas. And I was floored. At the same time, I felt very proud. I said, then I true what my father said. I was born in a tent on the side of the road as the project was moving. And to me, that was very humbling, but it was very powerful. So it, 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 it reinforced my, uh, my being that there is power in humility and that um, que, eh, Dios tiene uh, a la gente más débil en su mano. So I, I, it was just a, a wake up uh, for me thinking God has something. God has the other path. That's when I was starting to be involved in, in the community and uh, with Pilsen Neighbors and with the construction of Benito Juarez High School and uh, other issues, the Chicago 21 plan. Before the high school opened, my son was cutting the class after school at the Froebel branch. It was a branch of Harrison High School. It was really a dilapidated uh, building, uh, had already been condemned, yet there was no high school in the community. And I really saw the need for this high school that people had already embarked on. And with my son cutting the class, that was my first wake up call in terms of, yes, you can raise your children well, you can have them do their homework, you can send them to school every day, but you've got to be more alert. You've got to see where they're going and what condition they're really learning. And uh, I got really, really involved. Plus also there were big discipline issues at that school. There were a lot of things that were not right. And so I got involved in, in the discipline and working with uh, teachers and the principal and other parents. So that was part of the organizing work. The opening of Benito Juarez High School was like an opportunity for a new beginning. And that's where we, the parents, saw the, the fruit of our labor. And then it gave us the, the vision to protest or to fight against the Chicago 21 plan, as it was written by the city of Chicago. And so we were uh, instrumental in raising money to create the alternate plan. So that's where I learned that you have to create alternatives. You cannot just protest and, 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 and shoot something down. You have to come up with the alternative plan. And, uh, and so as a community, we did. And so that is one big reason that Pilsen as a community is still standing today. Yeah. Otherwise, East of Ashland would look a whole lot different as it was proposed by the city of Chicago. Believe me, I had a lot to do at home because my husband was a construction laborer. I woke up at five to send him off at six with a fresh cooked breakfast that morning. My ki and he would be off at six. My, my kids would wake up for school at seven to fresh breakfast. And so then I was ready to go to, to school because in the process, I got a GED. In the process, I got a bachelor's. In the process, I got a master's in school guidance and counseling. I worked for 28 years at the school where I was a volunteer or an activist for so many years. You know, so I had a lot to do. What? It's not a work, but it's very rewarding.